So let's play a sound of this lawyer, and then we'll get to one serious story and then a serious announcement, and then we'll get to the fun half. The woman, but, Natalia Van No, you, uh, yeah, this is the attorney that Donald Trump Jr. worked with. She's speaking on the Today Show this morning. Netskaya at the center of a storm over a meeting with Donald Trump's son in June 2016. You wake up one morning and find you are the focus of all the high-ranking upstream media. On June 9th, two weeks after Donald Trump secured the nomination, his son, Donald Trump Jr., along with Jared Kushner Hello. and former campaign chair Paul Manafort, met with the Russian attorney. In June, you met with Donald Trump Jr., with Jared Kushner, with Paul Manafort. What was the purpose of that meeting? I never knew who else would be attending the meeting. All I knew that Mr. Donald Trump Jr. was willing to meet with me. I could recognize the young gentleman who was only present in the meeting for probably the first seven to ten minutes. And then he stood up and left the room. Pause it. I like how Jared, if this account is true, does not even try to do like the whisper to Don Jr. Like, we should probably get out of here. He's just like, I think I'm going to go now, but I guess the idiot kid can stay here. This will probably come out at some point. No, I will not take the asbestos out of the black people's houses. We want to build a condo, God damn it. Okay, go ahead. It was Mr. Jared Kushner, and he never came back, by the way. And the other individual who was at the same meeting was always looking at his phone. He was reading something. He never took any active part in the conversation. <laughs> that was Mr. Manafort. They had the impression, it appears, that they were going to be told some information that you had about the DNC. How did they get that impression? It's quite possible that maybe they were looking for such information. They wanted it so badly. And this morning, she denies claims she is connected to a Russian government effort to aid Donald Trump's presidency. Have you ever worked for the Russian government? Uh, do you have connections to the Russian government? No. What she was doing, she says, was lobbying against U.S. legislation that imposes sanctions on Russian individuals. Guys, this was a, a long interview. We are still picking through. Okay, and and look, she might be, if you take her at her word, I mean, then maybe maybe what happened is she had a relative. She she wanted to talk apparently about this adoption issue, which I think is implicated maybe by some of the Obama administration sanctions on Russia. I'm not sure, but maybe she had a valid reason for wanting to talk. Goldstein misrepresented her reasons to Don Jr. and John Jr. jumped at the you know and maybe she might be entirely in the clear, but. It was certainly it's a bit Don, suspicious that yeah. when she's asked what the purpose of the meeting was twice, she says, I didn't know I recognize the people, other people in the meeting, which doesn't answer that question the, yes. the first time, and she didn't answer it the second time either. But yes, you know, there's a, there's a there's yeah, a there's edits and there's a language barrier, so right. who knows? Who knows? I like how Manafort just looked at his phone. He's such a gangster. It's just sort of like I have plausible deniability about listening to this. Look up uh, Manafort and Stone and their consulting firm in the 80s where they went, they parlayed their Reagan connections to lobby for almost any right-wing death squad or dictatorship on earth. It was notorious even by Washington standards. But just really briefly, let's just touch but on hey, this. They made money. They made a lot of money. Definitely man knows how to make money. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.